So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Matt and in this video we'll be going over some GCSE Matt higher ratio and proportion exam style questions. Now there will be a copy of the questions in the description below for you to download and have an attempt at before watching this video as we go through the answers. So let's get straight into this ratio and proportion topic test. So looking at question one, it says that x to y is in the ratio of 5 to 1. Circle the equation of y as a function of x. So looking at this particular statement here, we can write this as fractions. So it's x over y, and that's going to be equal to 5 over 1. And then if we do a bit of cross multiplying, we get 5y equals 1x. And then as you can see, we've got y the subject. So if I take the 5 over, it's going to y is going to equal x over 5. Then for 1b it says show that x plus y to x minus y equals 3 to 2. So from this what we've then got is we've got that well we know that 5y equals x so then rather than writing x plus y I'm going to write 5y plus y and x minus y and that will be 5y minus y and if we simplify each of those we get 6y to 4y and then we can cancel the y's and then we can simplify the numbers so it gives us 3 to 2 which is what they wanted me to show. Then moving on to question 2 it says that 90 hazelnuts have a mass of 125 grams hazelnuts have 630 calories per 100 grams work out the number of calories per hazelnut so for this what we're going to do is we first of all need to work out how many hazelnuts there are in 100 grams now to do that what I'm going to do is I do 90 divided by 125 then if I multiply that by 100 because obviously then it's just telling me how many hazelnuts there are in one gram and we want 100 grams so if I type that into my calculator or work it out I get an answer of 72 so then that's going to give me 72 hazelnuts in 100 grams then from this what I could then do is to then work out how well I know that there are 630 calories in 100 grams so therefore there are going to be 630 calories in 72 hazelnuts so then if I then do 630 divided by 72 and that gives me an answer of 8.75 calories per hazelnut so the answer then is 8.75 then moving on to question three, it says that Jake, Kim and Lee share some money in the ratio of one to three to six. Kim gets nine pound more than Jake. How much does Lee get? So let's first of all start by writing the ratio. So I've got J to K to L and that's in the ratio of one to three to six. Now in terms of the information, it tells me that Kim gets nine pound more than Jake. Well, K and J is here. So that means the difference between these two is two parts. So that means that two parts must equal nine pounds. So therefore one part is going to equal four pound fifty. Now using this information that Lee equals and it is six parts. So therefore it's going to be six times four point five zero which gives me an answer of £27. Then moving on to question four, it says that a spice mix contains coriander and cumin in the ratio of half a cup to a quarter cup. A cup of coriander is 80 grams and a cup of cumin is 100 grams. Work out the mass of six cups of the spice mix. So if I start by just writing down coriander and we write cumin, and that's in the ratio of 0.5 to 0.25. Now, if I just then, what I want to do is, and this is obviously in cups, so in total, the simplified ratio is going to give me 0.75 cups of the mixture. 
Now, if I multiply each of those numbers by 4, then I'm going to get 2, and I'm going to get 1. And that's going to equal 3 cups. So then if I multiply by another 4 again, so this time let's just multiply this by 8, then I get 4 cups, and I'm going to get 2 cups, which gives me a total of 6 cups. So that means then to make six cups of mixture i need four cups of coriander and two cups of cumin so then what that then means is that the total mass is going to be six times the mass of coriander which is 80 plus two times the cup of cumin which is a hundred uh, two lots of 200 so if i work that out i get an answer of 520 grams so moving on to question five it says that x divides the line pq in the ratio of two to three p is at two one and q is at 12.5 and 7.5 work out the coordinates of the point q now for this let's just start by labeling the triangle of where those positions actually are so p is at 2 1 so that's going to be 2 and that's going to be 1 and q is at 12.5 and this point here is going to be at 7.5 now if i take that triangle out because obviously i do get a right angle triangle then this distance here is 6.5 that's the difference between the y ordinates and the difference between the x ordinates is 10.5 now, looking at where P is, now this is at a ratio of 2 to 3. So, to work out, what I want to do is work out 2 fifths of each of those lines. So, P to Q is 2 fifths, and X, so P to X is 2 fifths, and X to Q is 3 fifths. So, then what I then need to do is then work out, split this triangle up into fifths and then work out the actual ratio. So here, to find the x-ordinate of x, then what I do is, so I'm looking at the across, that's going to be 10.5. Now, if I divide that by 5, I'll work out what 1 fifth is. And then because x is 2 fifths from p, then I multiply that by 2. So if I type that all into my calculator, I get an answer of six sorry i get an answer of um 4.2 now that tells me that this distance here is 4.2 so then to work out the x ordinate it's going to be 4.2 plus 2 which is 6.2 then to work out the y ordinate of x well, the total y difference is 6.5, so I'm going to do 6.5 divided by 5 to work out what 1 fifth is, and then I need to multiply that by 2, and I get an answer of 2.6. So that tells me that this distance here is 2.6. So then if p is at 1, I've then got to add, so this distance here is 2.6, so then I've then got to do 2.6, or 1 plus 2.6, which is 3.6 so the coordinates of x is going to be 6.2 and 3.6 then to move on to question six it says that bob sells hats and scarves at the start of the day he has hats to scarves in ratio 43 during the day he sells 25 hats and at the end of the day he has a, a ratio of 79 hats to scarves and the question is asking us to work out the number of scarves that he has so let's first of all note what this ratio here is to start with so four to three now that ratio is has been simplified so it doesn't tell us that he has four hats and three scarves it just means that the hats to scarves in is in that sort of is a multiple of four for the hats and a multiple of three for the scarves depending on the total so looking at the start, the hats to scarves is going to be four times something and the scarves is going to be three times something. So it's definitely going to be a multiple where X is a common factor. 
So then from this, now at the end, I'm going to end up, because Bob sells 25 hats, it's going to be 4x minus 25. And there's no indication that he sold any scarves, so that's going to be the same there. Now from this, we know that this ratio is equal to 7 to 9. Now just like we did with the first question, we can then convert this into fractions. So I've got 4.4x... So I've got 4x minus 25 over 3x is equal to 7 over 9. Then what I can then do is do a bit of cross multiplying. So I end up with 9 lots of 4x minus 25 is equal to 7 lots of 2x. So then simply expand the brackets, so I'll get 30x, 36x minus, and it's going to be 225 equals 14 x then from this um and well that should be a three so it should be 21 x so that should be three x and that'll be 21 x so then what we then got is we then end up with 15 x equals 225 and so doing a bit of dividing we get that x equals 15. now the total number of scarves that he has is three x so if I just move down here, so the number of scarves equals 3x. So therefore, it's going to be 3 times 15. So the answer then is 45.